Hey, Earth, what's up? Hey, Sun. Oh, I was just teaching humans about constellations. Humans love looking up at the stars. That's cool. Did you know that I'm a star too? You are? That's right. The stars people on Earth see in the night sky are just so far away, they look much smaller to them than I do. You and all of our planet friends are in my solar system, and we are grouped together in a galaxy called the Milky Way. How many other stars are in our galaxy? Billions. We stars like to hang out together. And beyond our galaxy, there are billions of other galaxies in the universe filled with their own stars. Astronomers believe there are up to one septillion stars in the universe. Wow, that's a lot of stars. But what makes a star a star? Stars are glowing balls of very hot gas. Nearly all of us stars are mostly made up of hydrogen gas. Our cores or centers are very, very hot. And intense pressure causes the hydrogen gas to change to helium gas. That process is what makes us glow. It's how we produce so much energy. Sun, are all the other stars just like you? You're so special to us. I guess you could say I'm sort of an average star. I'm about four and a half billion years old, and I'm somewhere in the middle for size, temperature, and color. Some stars are hotter than me. They glow blue. And some are cooler than me. They glow red. I'm called a yellow dwarf. Do you have any star friends that are different than you? Oh, sure. You said you were teaching humans about constellations, right? Well, if they find the constellation Centaurus, they'll find our closest star neighbor, Proxima Centauri, a much smaller star than me. Or, if humans find the constellation Orion, they can find my friend Rigel. Rigel is a blue, giant superstar, which means he's twice as hot as me and more than 70 times bigger. We're still pals, though. Well, I'm glad you're our star, son. You truly are one in a septillion.